In today's video, we'll be checking out Cerberus, coming right up. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host John, aka Latherhog. So I get to flex my love for Greek mythology a little bit today uh, with the main kind of thing that we're featuring for today's shave, and that's none other than a collaboration called Cerberus. Both the soap here and the splash. And this co collaboration is between House of Mammoth, Declaration Grooming, and Noble Otter kind of three very popular American artisans in the wet shaving scene. Now the name Cerberus comes from Greek mythology and it's the name of the three-headed dog that guards the gates of the underworld. And I don't know, I'd, I'd love me some Greek mythology uh, given that it's a three-way collaboration. It has a really fun name. Uh, the collaboration also all have mascots or you know, animal mascots. <laughs> for the respective company names. Uh, it's a darker scent just right out of the gate, so you guys know I haven't even opened the tub yet um, in this video, but it's a darker scent. I was waiting for the weather to cool down a bit um, just so I don't choke myself out <laughs> during the course of the shave. Now as far as who did what in this collaboration, uh, the scent of Cerberus comes from House of Mammoth. The soap is from Declaration, and then the aftershave splash is courtesy of Noble Otter. And also just one note, uh, I know this might have happened with one or two other people that I spoke to, but um, while this was packaged very safely uh, in a bag of its own, and even uh, there was a seal, which I, you know, I've opened, but uh, even sealed, there's a little bit of leakage. Uh, nothing that you can tell, I don't know if you can see the bottle here, uh, nothing significant, but given how strong this scent was, uh, the label was a little damp. Uh, luckily it's, you know, it's waterproof and it wasn't damaged at all. But man, that little baggie that contained it, it might, might have been even just like a few drops. Uh, my whole office just smelled of Cerberus for a few days. So <laughs> if that's any indication of how strong this scent is. It's a dark one also, and uh, luckily the weather has cooled down and we're able to kind of better enjoy that um, with today's kind of rainy, gloomy, cooler weather. So anyway, let's um, unscrew the top of the lid and let me give you just the unlathered impressions. There is the pour. This is in the milk steak base from Declaration, one of my favorites. So what we're looking at mostly is a kind of a, like a dark, rich sandalwood. And also in the mix, I'm getting kind of like some berries or some kind of um, some light fruity notes to kind of counterbalance the darkness. But mostly, um, you know, mostly a cool weather scent uh, is what kind of I would identify it as. Uh, we'll get more into the scent though in just a little bit. Let me show you what else we got for today's shave. First up for the razor, this is our third shave with the winning razor on loan from Brian at the Wet Shave Experience. Uh, last, last time I used this, I used the Gillette Nasset Blade and didn't love that combination. I love the Nasset Blade, but I don't necessarily love it in every razor. Uh, today we're going with a fresh Pole Silver Super Iridium Blade. That was upside down, but there you go. <laughs> That's one of my favorite blades. It tends to be smoother. And lastly for the brush, we have one from Declaration Grooming. This beautiful pour is called Nebula. This is on loan from my buddy Ross, aka Nova Shaves. This is a kind of a, I believe he's had this brush. It's kind of an uh, old school Nebula brush from Declaration. It has a 24 millimeter B3 knot. And you can see underneath here, Scott's signature from Declaration. Really just love the colors though on this one. But um, what I'll also be looking for is the B3 knot. I believe the B3 and maybe the B4 knot tend to be the quote unquote scrubbier or scritchier knots of the various declaration grooming brushes. Uh, it doesn't, you know, like I, I've done a quick cleaning with the brush and just soaking. It doesn't feel too scritchy at all by any means. Obviously I haven't put it to my face yet. That's something I will observe and share with you guys once we get the face lather going. 
Now before we get into said face lather, if you're enjoying this video, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, please consider becoming a subscriber. Uh, that helps a huge amount just as far as uh, working with YouTube's algorithm and getting the videos suggested to other wet shavers who might find the content helpful. Thank you guys. I appreciate all the ways you help support this channel. Also, I want to invite you guys to check out the Lather Talk Discord to interact with fellow wet shaving enthusiasts, listeners of the Lather Talk podcast, and just all around cool people. All right, so one observation right away to share is uh, I just rinsed off the tub, but uh, I don't know if you're able to see the depth of it, but this uh, this tub of milk steak, this of uh, Cerberus rather, um, is super soft, softer than normal. Um, I barely touch it and um, it has a consistency more of a cream as opposed to a soft soap. And so I think when I kind of, I didn't even mash the brush too far in there to load, but it kind of created a bit of a crater already in the first use. So I might wind up with a lot of product already in the brush just to give you guys a heads up. But um, yeah, I, I, I'm not sure if it's the time of curing of the soap, but this one does seem much softer than the other tubs of Declaration soaps I used recently. And here's the load on the brush, which looks normal, but again, like a lot of it got into um, the knot here just for from the initial application into the tub. I'm not sure. I, <laughs> we might be, I might be in for a long lather here. All right, so not to get totally off track, but this one's got tons of scent notes. So let me just, instead of reading them off, uh, let me share them um, on the screen right now. So this one is a dark, rich, complex scent. Again, sandalwood is really at the forefront here. And you know, there are notes of stone fruit. That's kind of what the fruit I was mentioning prior. Um, that's used to kind of just balance things a bit. But also this sandalwood note um, has almost a uh, metallic kind of tinge to it. That's, I don't, I don't come across that very often at all. And as some sandalwoods go, um, if, if you guys didn't know, uh, there's, there are different sandalwood accords, different types of sandalwood that some are sweeter, some are drier, uh, this, some are medicinal. And that's kind of, this one leans more medicinal and incense-like. So this is, um, I'd be very wary uh, of this as a blind buy, which I know most shaving purchases, especially for soaps and splashes, are usually a blind buy. Um, and I would say those who like darker scents, um, this is this will more appeal to you. Darker scents, uh, uh, just off the top of my head, something like, like Dark Fall from Decoration Grooming is a good example. Uh, Barrister and Man has quite a few dark scents. Leviathan, I think is one, um, one old standby. Hallows, um, a seasonal that comes up every now and then. And dark can mean uh, different things too. It can mean dank. These, this is not so much dank, like a swampy, boggy feel, but just, I don't know, something more, a little more brooding to it. Oh yeah, one other thing too was, I forgot to mention how much beard growth I have. Um, I'll get more into that later, but it's been a, it's been a rough, a bit of a long, rough week. And so I haven't shaved since, I think, four days ago. And one cool thing about my current lighting setup, and thank you for those who have given your feedback, but you can really see the stubble, even like with this one or two days. But my last few videos, I've had like four or five days of growth, and you can really see the stubble. I know joking, you know, well, some people don't joke. Some people say, oh, what are you shaving? Where's the hair? One benefit of this uh, extra lighting is you can really see the stubble, which I guess is something that people want to see in a shaving video. It makes sense. All right, so we're lathered up. Here's a close-up shot. You can see said four days of stubble poking on through. I also made quite the mess uh, with milk stick today. Let's take a step back. Look at that. It's just all over the, <laughs> the shaving shirt. Uh, anyway, let's go in with the winning razor. And for today, uh, I'll give you my observations on the razor at the end of today's shave, given that's the third shave already. Uh, and we'll take the opportunity today to just give you some 
life updates. So let's get things going. All right, so life updates, uh, as I alluded to during the face lather, that it's been a long, a little bit of a rough week that interfered with making, video, making and recording videos. So I do apologize. I was really uh, motivated to, to record a bunch of this week and you know, life, life had other plans. So well, let's start with the positive first. Um, so September 1st was the first day of school for my son, my, my eldest child. Uh, he just started up third grade. And so that's very exciting. Um, you know, we took the obligatory first day of school picture and the kid just looks gigantic, almost unrecognizable. <laughs> uh, it's, it, it's really weird to see like my little guy just kind of look, just like stretched out and elongated like limb wise, a little more, a little more uh, gangly. <laughs> lanky, lanky is the right word. Uh, but he's really happy to go back. Granted it was a half day for the first day, but Happy to, happy to see him start. Then next week, uh, my daughter will be starting kindergarten. So the school year is rolling around. Uh, my wife's busy being an educator herself. So um, just kind of things, you know, our schedule and the rhythm of our of our day to day is, is changing. So that alone, you know, that'll um, like waking up earlier or just there's more bustle, hustle and bustle, especially in the mornings. So that's just a that's just a change that that happens every season, shifting out of summer mode. I don't think that's a bad thing. I, I, that's, that's not the bad stuff. The bad stuff now, this is, if that was a pro, this is the con. Is um, at the be beginning of the week, overnight, someone jacked lifted my like 2005 Honda Accord and sawed out the catalytic converter. And I did not know this, but apparently that there's been a, a huge uptick of that particular crime, that, that particular theft, um, because people are looking to sell the precious metals found in the catalytic converter. So that was a huge pain. And obviously, when you know, if, if you guys have ever ever had something stolen from you, something broken into your place or whatever, um, it's a huge mix of very strong emotions. Like for most people, it's safe to say, I can at least speak for myself, where it's this feeling of anger, confusion, frustration, sadness, more anger. <laughs> like. Uh, it wasn't. It didn't really put me in a good mood either to be in uh, in front of the camera, um, and there are obviously like steps that need to be taken to get the car looked at, fixed, call insurance, call the police, at least report it so that it doesn't happen. This crime doesn't happen to someone else. So that was that was kind of the the big thing. I just hang over uh, my head this week. I, I think I'm I'm still I'm still waiting to hear back to see what my insurance provider um, will want to do in this situation given the uh, given the age of the car, but I think it was leaning towards, you know, being able to cover the repair of it. So that that's good. I can't really ask for much more than that. Ooh, while I was chatting, I just noticed I gave myself a little, uh, little nick right there. Well, anyway, the first pass is done. Let me rinse up and we'll lather up for the second pass. All right, so now we've got lather for the second pass. I forgot to mention a little bit more about the brush. Uh, now that I've done you know, two, two lathering passes, uh, this, there is more, there's probably more scritch in this knot than other declaration knots. That being said, it's, it doesn't like feel like a bore brush or anything like that. Um, uh, maybe for someone who wants a little more exfoliation, it's a good one. There's still plenty of softness and still a freaking dense knot here. So, all right, and here we go again. Yeah, so that thing, you know, the issues with the car, 
Not really a great way to kick off the month. And in many ways, not to kick, uh, whenever the school year starts, uh, it does feel like, that feels like more the, the new year than January 1st. So maybe that's why it's just like, oh, that's just like adding some bad, <laughs> bad feelings towards the start of, of uh, this new academic year. But to the few, you know, few friends I shared that with, um, I really do appreciate, and for those that watch the channel, I do appreciate your encouraging words, your sympathy, um, and just, you know, really just uh, commiserating or just being there. Um, probably a good amount of venting happened behind the scenes, and I appreciate your eyes and ears just to, to hear me out on that. Also, I'm just gonna squeeze in a cleanup pass today as I was kind of just feeling my face in between passes. I feel like I could go, I feel like I'd like to go a little closer. In general, the efficiency on the winning razor, I think it's quite nice. Given how mild it feels to the face. There is something though about, as far as the weight and just um, how the razor feels in hand while I shave. Uh, I did mention I do like heavy razors, but I think there's something about this razor where it's not like in the back of my head. I am uh, immediately putting it on my like to buy list. And don't get me wrong, I really just enjoy trying out different software and hardware, but as far as razors, I kind of feel like I have my my favorites, and if it's not something I absolutely love, or is giving a, a you know a vastly different experience from what I already have, it probably is not going to make the buy list. So that's kind of where I'm landing as far as um, my thoughts on the razor. All right guys, so quite a nice shave. I will say that um, I'm shaving, this is the morning as I'm recording this, and I was feeling quite groggy. It might be that one of the two cups of coffee I had finally kicked in, but I would say just this, you know, this ritual of shaving can, you know, kind of bring, bring you some peace, bring you like a zen-like feel. It helped kind of wake me up, get my brain, you know, the gears turning and all of that, so. Can't complain about that. Let's go ahead and finish things off with the matching splash. Give that a good shake. So a little more on the scent as, I'm, now that I have the splash on and I've been using and throughout the shave, I will say that there's kind of a, uh, there's a leather note added to the sandalwood. Really this is, so that pushes it more, even more to the winter rather than the fall for me. Um, that, that darkness again, I mean, uh, the note of leather definitely is a strong one. Uh, and that doesn't get in the way, it complements the sandalwood very well. Uh, the sandalwood itself, I did mention it's um, a little medicinal, Obviously it's, it's woody, it's dark. One other thing though, it's, I would say it's a dry, um, almost like, like a desert-like feel. There's, there's something like a dryness to the scent. Some of them more into perfuming, could probably explain why I'm getting that or where I'm getting that from, but that dry, metallic, uh, these are words that I don't usually use in shaving scents. And uh, I quite enjoy the scent of Cerberus and I also quite enjoy just how it's uh, it's a really unique offering. I would say that there's maybe a little overlap as far as the type of sandalwood. If you've ever smelled from Chateau Luke's, uh, they have one called Santal Austere, 
Now, while the shaving set is discontinued, I do believe that uh, Chateau Landuc still makes Santal austere as a um, eau de parfum or some, you know, some concentration of fragrance. The, the main difference between, I would say, Cerberus and that one is um, Santal austere reminded me kind of more of a kind of an old library. For some reason, that dryness in Cerberus pictures like like a uh, like nighttime at the desert. Now, have you ever been in a desert? In the nighttime, no. There's there's no deserts in the uh, northeast of the United States. But um, just as far as like, what I'm picturing, that's that's where it brings me. So again, okay, a very unique offering, a very enjoyable offering, Cerberus. Now I will know that this one sold out quite quick uh, when it first came out, and yeah, some people who are you know really big fans, enthusiasts nerds for shaving as a hobby um, were upset that they weren't able to get either the soap, the splash, or the accompanying fragrance. But the good news uh, is I believe sometime in September, maybe early October, there will be another run of Cerberus. So be sure to follow, I think if you follow uh, House of Mammoth, Declaration, or Noble Otter, you'll be able to find out when that next drop is. So this one's gonna be a big hit, I think, for those of you who like darker, uh, more rich scents, but for people who are more into like cologne dupes and lighter and brighter scents, this is probably gonna be a hard pass. I also had a first grade outing with the Nebula brush. So thank you again, Ross, for lending me this one. I'll be looking forward to using this for a few more shaves. I, guys, I, I just absolutely love the colors of this one. If, uh, <laughs> I think if, if, if Ross were to un unload this brush, he should definitely keep me uh, keep me in the mix because <laughs> it's I, I don't know if there's something about this color combination that's just great. Again, the knot it's a little smaller than other Declaration grooming you know knots, but um, I quite liked it. I I don't need it to be uh, a massive dense 28. Uh, millimeter knot. This 24 actually performed quite well and probably given the density uh, feels like a 26 millimeter knot uh, which is my usual go-to. Alright guys so that's gonna do it for today's shave. Uh, I do want to thank you guys for your ears for just you know listening to my life updates in general just trying to keep a positive outlook despite you know you know, difficult or bad things that come our way. Luckily we have things like hobbies and um, friends and family to keep our spirits lifted. So uh, thank you again so much for your time and joining me for today's video. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Take care.